Managdait sa tanan and welcome back to Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. For today's lesson, um, let's start with a review. Kindly answer the question, what is contemporary art without looking at your notes? You may pause the video and then once you are done, you may play the video again. I believe that you already had your answer. Let us check the definition. As what you've seen on screen, Contemporary art does not actually focus on the definition of art itself, but it refers to a timeline, a certain time or year wherein an art is made. Contemporary art refers to those artwork made in the present time. For us not to be confused, in this lesson we'll be talking about the different um, Philippine eras, uh, Philippine art eras or what we call the Philippine art history. Attach is a timeline of the Philippine art so that we may be guided of each eras with their particular nature as well as the year or the duration. For ex it started with ethnic art and we ended here with contemporary era. So in our timeline, taman rata contemporary era because we are, do not yet know the next era of Philippine art that will arrive. So probably in the next generation, we'll be having a new era in art. So for us to understand fully the timeline, you may take a screenshot, and for us to have more a deeper um, understanding, let us discuss each era, starting with ethnic or also known as pre-colonial era. So it is called pre-colonial because it is the era wherein um, it is before the colonizers arrived, before tanasakop ng ibang mga bansa. So ito yung ethnic era and pre-colonial era. Accordingly, the nature of artwork here is integral to life, meaning it is necessary for survival. So, art for ritual purposes, for everyday use. As local communities become established, art starts to go beyond mere crafts. Example, stone weapons or jewelry, but starts to have decorative elements, meaning and context. So, basically, um, artwork started as a means for survival and then later, um, gina, gina anam anam na nilag ad o mga decorative materials. For us to better understand this, let's proceed to the next slide. So, for painting, um, we have body paint and adornment, for, uh, for examples, are ornaments. So, here is an attached picture. So, in the ethnic era, tattoos, body paintings, and ornaments are necessary for survival. So, nga man. So, very impossible, Kaisha, no? But they actually believe that it brings good luck. In other words, there is a hidden meaning. The, um, each body painting and ornaments has their um, meaning which symbolize something. Maybe, to be more uh, particular, um, it means luck. So, next is sculpture. So, sculpture also refers to mga crafts nila. We have carving, woodwork, and metalwork. I cannot find the appropriate picture for this one because I want to provide, I intentionally ten, intentionally wanted to provide um, an ethnic sample of sculpture. But instead, I provided this one because I wasn't able to find what I'm looking for. In this photo, we can see um, two persons. The other one is carrying a somewhat a sword made of wood or gold because of the color. Now, we can say that it can be it it's made of either gold um, bronze or um, wood so this is of the best most accurate way of saying that in the ethnic era artwork is um, a necessity for survival so they started creating swords weapons um, hammers and tools in order to survive so they, it can be used for hunting or building their house so, architecture, we have the worship areas, mosques, dwellings, and houses. So, this is the earliest form of house. It only consists of um, a roof and then duha kakahoy, kakawayan, which serves as the wall para mutindog lang ang, uh, para mutindog lang ang roof. Um, its purpose only is to provide um, an, an establishment wherein makapasilong sila sa sun, sa heat from the sun, or sa ulan. So, mora na yung kuan, itsura sa ilahang haw sa una until um, ta as, as time goes by, nagka-evolve po ilahang um, architecture, and then, nagproceed na dahil sa um, another form of art. 
um, era rather, we have the Islamic era. So the Islamic art is, yahang nature is geometric design. If you have noticed to our Muslim brothers and sisters, um, particularly when they wear their Muslim attire, na ajunay mga geometric design, no? as well as their uh, mosque. So, I think observable na niya. The best example for this ka ng malung. I'm not sure if na amoy malung sa inyo ha, but yeah, sa tanang nakita na kung malung na agid siya yung mga geometric design. So, it is characterized by geometric designs and patterns eliciting focus from believers. Let us now proceed to the Spanish era. So, from 1521 to 1898. So, medyo taas-taas atong Spanish era, no? So, the nature of this one is faith and catechism, particularly the Catholic um, the Catholic religion. So, when the Spaniards arrived in the Philippines in the 1521, the colonizers used art as a tool to propagate the Catholic faith through beautiful images. So, um, since lahi man ang language sa mga Spaniards, and then lahi po ang language sa Filipinos, so there is actually a language or communication barrier. And in order for them to communicate, they started using artworks such as images to explain Particularly, they started explaining the um, concept behind Catholicism. So, so very useful, juday, very powerful, juday kayo ng artwork. No, aside from being beautiful for decoration or necessity for survival, it can also be used as communication. So, during the Spanish era, we have Damian Domingo, aka Damian Gabor Domingo. So, kinsa ka ni siya? So, he is the first Filipino to paint his face. So, the first self-portrait in the Philippines, and then he is called as the father of the Filipino painting, and then he is also called as the first great Filipino painter. So, as you can see, Moni ang image ni Damien Domingo. He doesn't look like a uh, Filipino, no? Maybe because of the influence in his era. So, as what you've noticed, medyo Portuguese or Spanish-like ang iyahang um, image diri. So, let's proceed to the painting. So, mostly related to religion, icon and ecclesiastical and in secular portraiture or portraits. So, secular class refers to those um, artworks or mga objects that is religious. So, secular means religious. Um, sculpture related to also to religion, saints, altar pieces, and metalwork. Architecture, churches, plaza complex, lighthouses, private residence. The main point mango ending Spanish era is the um, to spread the three G God, gold and glory. So giuna gin nila ang God no because that is their mayor um pinaka most important na um, objective. So ako ang gigamit nga image diri is si Santo Nino because I think he is the most famous contribution of the um, Spanish era. Let us now proceed to the American era. From one colonizer to another, after more than three centuries of Spanish rule, the Americans came. They set out to conquer the Filipinos through education and governance, the public school system, and a system of government. So, kaning American era, very opposite, um, I did not exactly opposite, but unlike the Spanish era, so ilahang emphasis sa Spanish era is the religion, while sa American era is about education and governance. So, we have here, the nature of artwork here is secular. Si, so, this one is up very opposite to Spanish era. So, Spanish era, um, as what you've noticed, um, ang secular form of art refers to those artworks that is um, non-religious. So, non-religious ng secular, um, secular art. Sorry for that. This, so, earlier I mentioned that secular, secular refers to religion. So, mali to siya. Um, what I'm trying to say at Oganina is that secular refers to anything that is not related to religion. So, in the American era, so naputay painting, sculpture, and architecture, but I did not took the time to add the uh, photos in here because uh, the American has great influence magod sa tua. And until now, taghan pa kayo tag ginakip. And then, naga influence yapun sila sa tua. Daghan, daghan pa tag na maintain bitang nga mga. Um, influence Americans such as landscape portraits and still life paintings. So, kanang mga landscape portraits nga itong ginabuhat, mga uh, magbali magpainting tag nature, 
So sa Amerika na to na siya na kuha nga influence. Sculpture, freestanding and public sculpture. Kana mga sculpture nga mga uh, mutindog architecture. Parks, apartments, health and public education and government structures. So basically kaning educational system na to. It is also an influence from the American era. So kaning mga um, decoration, mga public um, establishment nga makita na to sa Osaka City, for example, the plaza, mga malls, mga kanang mga structures sa tong balay, they are all influence coming from the American. For the Japanese era, so gapasuno daman ni sila no. So the Filipino way of life was greatly affected during the Japanese period. Filipinos lost their freedom of free speech and expression. The development of art was also stopped. So, ang um, Japanese era it is um, referred to as having the nature of orientalizing meaning to say kuan magod ni mga japanese um, they do not like influence magod they will they like to keep um bale they would like to keep um to stick with the traditional that is why for example aside pa man ani okay the filipinos lost their freedoms of speech to be more specific filipinos were not allowed to speak other uh, language so mas gip, mas ginakuan nila nga mang Filipino for example dili na sila pwede mo speak og English since American man ang una nakasakop sa Philippines before the Japanese so Filipinos learn to speak English na ani nga time but pag upon arriving upon the arrival of the Japanese so nawala na puto nga um, expression of koan language so dili na sila pwede mo speak og English and Filipino as well they are um, they are taught to speak Japanese in the in their in their education because again, ang Japanese dili sila ganahan og influence. They would like um they like to stick with tradition. So Filipino ka, Filipinos can speak Tagalog, but they are but gina push sa mga Japanese nga mag speak sila um um Japanese pod because in order para wala sila yung language barrier pod. So, the Japanese made some changes in the system of education. Japanese imposed their own music on the country. So, I've read nga sa radio daw, ang ginaplay lang yun for me is mga Japanese songs. Balig, himo ginilag Japanese ang Philippines. Filipino painters reacted by producing the following works. So, let me emphasize that um, artworks were banned in this time. So, nga nung naapamay mga Filipino painters because of revolution. So, patago ra ni sila nagkuan, naghimog painting. So, natay duha ka painting which is very famous. This is just few of the paintings that is produced aning a time. A Day Begins by Vicente Alvarez, Bison, and Rape and Massacre in Ermita. So, I wasn't able to find the uh, uh, portrait of the other painting. So, I will only be presenting this one. The Rape and Massacre in Ermita by Justado Lorenzo. So this is the portrait for the um, influence of Japanese era. So the painting mostly wartime scenes, nationalism, aggression, and propaganda, and indigenous work. Known artists Fernando Amorsolo, Carlos Francisco, and Galo Ocampo. As what you've noticed, the painting wala. It does not seem like Japanese siyang akoan nga uh, influence. Unlike sa previous na to nga mga gidiscuss, so ang mga scenery is wartime daw. It is because of revolution again. So ang mga painting nga ginahimo sa mga Filipinos is those painting nga portray po sa pagmamalupit ng mga Japanese to Filipinos. Modern era, so the nature of this era is national identity. So it began after World War II and the granting of independence. Modern art is characterized by the artist's intent to portray a subject as it exists in the world according to his or her unique perspective and is typified by a rejection of accepted or traditional style and va- value. So nga nung national identity man ang nature sa modern era. National identity refers to um um looking for the identity of the nation or a country so money ang modern era they are trying the philippines is still trying to look for his for her identity 
imagine mang good um, the philippines was colonized by how many colonizers in how many years so bali maglisod po kuan nag-adjust pang philippines sa ihahang independence independence niya so ang mga um, mga painting sculptures and architecture ani nga time are the following for the painting it is modern conservative abstract and experimental paintings sculpture modern same same with the paintings no apply lang sa sculpture architecture real estate um, safe housing commercial buildings and condominiums for modern era I would like to emphasize the painting so ang painting ani nila is they now have the freedom to paint whatever they like um, preview, previous magun ng nila nga mga painting is more on war a portrayal of war mga pang aapi sa mga colonizers so for now starting with modern era Filipinos or painters can now make their own painting bale ilahang ma-paint na nila ilahang gusto i-express and anything na ilang ma-imagine for contemporary era so it started on 1970s until today so napata sa contemporary era of art so nanatay social realism contemporary art as the work of artists who are living in the 21st century the work of contemporary artists is a dynamic combination of materials methods concepts and subjects that challenges traditional boundaries and defies easy definition diverse and elect contemporary art is distinguished by the very lack of a uniform organizing principle ideology and so on so for painting we have now multimedia mixed media and art for an art sake so multimedia refers to digital digital art here sculpture figurative and non-figurative sculptures architecture real estate safe housing tenements mall subdivision commercial buildings and low-cost housing so actually in contemporary era there are lots of artistic expressions in this era which was discussed in the previous lesson no? so it does not end there so dagan pa kayo na develop ng mga um, different forms of art so finally in the contemporary art era the philippines have now have their own identity and we now have the freedom to produce what kind or to express our art in, in our very own way and that's the end of our lesson for today i hope i hope that you learn a lot and for your questions or inquiries you may send a private message to my facebook account or you may comment here if you are able to do not forget to answer the activity the expiration of that is a week from now you may start answering before it expires thank you first for coming See you again next meeting and goodbye. Something like that. Sculpture, public works and sculptures. And then architecture and then we have the public works.